In this screencast, I would like to show inspections in JProfiler's HeapWalker. Inspections are a number of analyses that filter and or group the current object set according to some criteria. For example, the hash maps with bad key distribution inspection finds hash maps whose contained objects have hash code implementations that could be improved upon. Right now we're looking at the entire heap, but in real situations you will rather want to focus on a particular subsystem. So we go to the allocations view here, just as an example, select a particular call stack and create a new object set and go to the inspections view again. And now we'll apply the hash maps with bad key distribution inspection only to those selected objects. This minimum map size just ensures that we exclude all the very small hash maps where the small size precludes any statistical significance. So let's calculate the inspection and we see that a new object set with four groups of objects has been created and it'll take us to the references view. Obviously the inspection only filters hash maps because it specifically deals with them but it also groups the hash maps according to their key distribution quality. Here you can see the worst hash maps are on top in the 30 to 39 percent enqueued group there are seven instances that are shown here below for each selection in the group table the selection below changes immediately and you can see also how the selected group immediately becomes part of the selection description that was created by the inspection the group table remains on top for each view in the heap walker as long as you do not create a new object set. Here, for example, you can see where the instances in each group were allocated. And you can continue to work with the objects in the heap walker just as you would without any grouping. For example, select the objects here and create a new object set. And this new object set now does not have any associated grouping, so the grouping table has been hidden. Now let's go back to all objects and select instances of a class that will be interesting for the next inspection that we're going to have a look at which is the custom grouping inspection. The custom grouping inspection allows us to group objects with a code snippet that we enter directly in JProfiler. So in this case we'll be able to group these multi-file objects from the NetBeans IDE that we're profiling here in any way we like. So let's configure the grouping script the first thing that we notice here is that the argument that is passed to the code snippet is not actually a multi-file object but a file object. The multi-file object class is a private class and so JProfiler gives us the nearest publicly accessible superclass which in this case is this file object class. So let's try to find a short expression for grouping. This get mime type method sounds like a good candidate and when we click on OK we still have to calculate the inspection. This takes some time. And we see that the inspection has created three groups of objects and these three groups correspond to the three MIME types that occur for those multi-file objects. And this is interesting information. We might be interested in the distribution of these values or it might be that we're only interested in objects that have a particular MIME type and we could take it from there. So let's go back to the list of all inspections and have a look at what other inspections are available. Here there are a number of inspections that deal with duplicate values, duplicate strings, duplicate primitive wrappers or even duplicate arrays. Then the sparse array and the zero length array inspection present you with a chance to reduce memory waste. Also the null fields inspection which finds fields that may be entirely removed. And then there is a number of inspections that deal with particular types of references to an instance. The retained by inner class inspection is interesting because it points to a potential memory leak. And then there is an object that references themselves inspection, which also presents a chance to reduce memory consumption. 